Welcome back to Mr. Obsolete's Vintage Homesteading Channel. It's just about season to start getting rid of our stumps again. This one I've worked on a bit before. You can see they've burned it out here pretty good. It used to be about this high. Cut it down and burned it. And so we've got the roots cut off here and here. And this is what I use. I've showed this before. This is my rock axe. It's a Chinese junker that I inherited at some point in time. <clears throat> but if I put a good edge on it, I cut through and I cut through this root down here. But the reason I use this is I don't want to ruin my good axes. This is expendable. So our plan of attack here is I've excavated underneath it. I'm going to cut this piece off. And then I cut it around here so that I can put my burn barrel over the top of it like this. And then I'll have it open underneath there. Why I do that is I'll put charcoal underneath it. This is the type of charcoal that I use. Big chunks of stuff. Burns a long time, burns really hot. So by burning it from underneath and at the top, I can burn it both directions. So what I do, I'll put the barrel over it, put the charcoal around it and underneath it, and I'll put charcoal around the perimeter, about half the height of the size of the sides of the stump here, and then I'll use small pieces of wood like this and I'll take pieces that are a little bigger than this and split them in half and I'll put them down the side of the barrel on the inside and what that'll do it'll put it down around the side here and the charcoal being really hot from the bottom will start burning up and the heat will refract from here to the stump and it burns it out really much better and then in my barrel I have these stays on the top. Hold this. Several reasons for that. One, it keeps the sparks from flying out. And the other, and since I have it fairly close, it keeps it from the draft from being too hot. If you have a open top and stuff, the fire will burn out and burn really hot and for a short time. With that on here, it's like a damper. And it'll keep the heat down inside the barrel where you want it to burn it with everything. So and the other thing we're going to talk about is using all of your available resources. So this is a bunch of branches I had left over from the trees that I chopped down. This one was originally about 40 foot tall and the wind blew out the top half. I was only about 22 foot. Had no foliage on it and so it was basically done for so I cut it down. But if you come over here This was from our apple tree and we had so many apples on it, one of the main branches broke off it. And so what I do with these, I cut them into short pieces like this. And when I first start the fire, I'll put these in. And the leaves will burn quickly after they're dry and then the apple wood here burns really hot. And then I'll start putting in better wood around it. So I wanted to show you some other wood here, so we'll be back in a second here. We're back. This used to be a bush out in front of the house and it was in really bad shape. So we took it out and you know you can just take and chop it up and burn it. But like everything it has a use. So the small branches I cut like this and there again you use them for fire starter in the burn barrel. And bigger stuff like this. You know, I'll take the chainsaw and cut them up into pieces. And we'll put that around the perimeter of the inside of the barrel. This stuff will burn pretty fast because it's really porous and stuff. But the ideal way to have a fire is to build a really hot fire quickly so it burns really clean and then you can put in the wood that lasts a lot longer. Uh, one of the things they found is by using cottonwood branches which don't burn very well on their own 
you mix them with fir and other types of trees that we have around, <coughs> around here. It refracts the heat back and makes a really hot fire and it takes a long time for it to burn and it burns down. The only bad thing about the cottonwood, it leaves a lot of ash, but on the underneath the barrel I have to go out every so often and poke around it to get the ash out of the way and stuff so it can continue to have a good draft of air coming up from the bottom. But if I have a good hot fire with good wood in it and stuff, I can usually get about eight to ten hours on a burn. And uh, I do that twice a day and stuff. You know, it usually burns out about six to eight inches of that big stump. So we'll come back in a minute and start cutting. Okay, well, we're back. I get the saw warmed up. We try cutting this off. Now, this video is going to be part one. Part two is going to be about getting some other stumps out. And we're going to use two different methods, which we'll talk about in the next video. And then the third one will actually be burning on this one, but we have a burn ban yet, and so we have to wait till that goes, goes off and also have some good rainstorms so that we can burn without catching the whole place on fire. So get my ears and eyes on here. Got our new little partner, a recent acquisition we did a video on. That's a nice, fast-cutting little saw. So now what we're going to do is cut about halfway down because there's still some debris down there. I don't want to get the chain in. And cut it off to where the barrel will fit over it. Always run your saw a little bit after you're done to cool it off. Now we'll take our favorite rock axe here and see if we can knock out that little piece. Just need to cut that out a little bit more and be absolutely perfect. So, stay tuned for episode two. It's probably going to be three or four weeks because of the weather and also the time frame for the burn ban. So, we'll see you on the next video.